I'm Alice Sullivan and I'm going to be giving a lunch hour lecture on the lifelong benefits of learning for pleasure. Now, it won't surprise anybody that brighter children tend to read for pleasure more than their less bright peers. But the question that we set out to answer was, how much does that reading for pleasure actually influence children's learning? And we set out to answer that using the 1970 British cohort study which is a really powerful study of everybody born in a particular week in 1970 in Britain. And what's so powerful about it is that we followed the same people over time and continue to follow them so that we can track change in their lives. So what that allowed us to do in the case of this study was control for factors like their socioeconomic status and their cognitive test scores at the ages of 5 and 10 and just focus in on their learning between the ages of 10 and 16 and whether those that read for pleasure actually learned more than those that didn't. And we, what we found was yes they did learn more and they learned a lot more not just in terms of vocabulary but it also influenced their learning in mathematics as well. So the next step in the study was to say, so how are these people doing now? So the last time that we visited the 1970 birth cohort study was in 2012, when they were 42 years old. And we actually administered exactly the same vocabulary test. And we found that, again, both their childhood reading and their reading in adulthood were powerful drivers of learning between the ages of 16 and 42 in terms of vocabulary development. And I'll be talking about these findings in more detail in my UCL lunchtime talk.